Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Faith, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought it would be cool to kind of show you guys my extreme room transformation. So, during quarantine, I got really bored and I decided to change a bunch of things in my room. It's been over the period of like the past three months, so I didn't do this all at once. Also, what is my hair doing? But it is something that I have been doing and I decided to film it for you guys and show you guys the transformation that my room has gone under. If you guys haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button right below me and let's go ahead and get into this video. For the first DIY, I wanted to do a flower wall up there. I used to have like my black and white city tapestry, but I took it down and I wanted to do like a flower wall that I saw on Pinterest. I'll put a photo right here. I just got back from Joanne's and I got all different flowers. I didn't have like the exact flowers that I wanted, but they had some that I really liked. There's all the flowers and yeah, I'm going to cut them so that, that, that way they have like shorter stems and then I'm gonna like line them up, pile them on the wall and then I have washi tape to tape them up. I have some wire cutters to cut them so my scissors don't break. Okay, so now that I cut all of those down, trimmed them to the length that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and line them up like how I want them on the wall and start to tape them up. Okay, so it turns out that washi tape isn't as strong as I thought it was. So I'm gonna put some masking tape, washi tape, <laughs> it's a mouthful, over top of it. So that's what I'm gonna go back and do. I'll see you guys in a second. So I finally finished the wall that took forever. Honestly, if I would've just done the masking tape first, it wouldn't have taken as long, but I didn't use my brain and I was like, oh, washi tape will do that. No, no. You have to put something underneath the washi tape because the washi tape will not stick for its life. So this is what the finished wall looks like. So I think it turned out pretty good considering I put that together pretty fast. And yeah, I really like it. I think I like it a lot better than what I had here. It's honestly a pretty quick and simple and cheap way to like spice up a wall. It wasn't too hard, it took a few hours, but I mean, good things take time. Well, I'm pretty impressed with that. So I'm happy how that turned out. I think it just looks a lot better. Gave my room a little revamp because I've had that tapestry there forever. So I really like this. I just think it looks fresh and different and it'll be a good background for my videos. Okay, so over here on my dresser, I have this little like jewelry kind of area and then this plant and this like giant gold elephant. And I just don't like the way it looks like with this flower wall, but I need someone to put my jewelry, but I think I'm gonna move it just because I don't love it right here. Cause I wanna get it to kind of match with this area and I just don't feel like it does. So I'm going to change that up. I got these two little wooden vase jars from Hobby Lobby. And I think that they would look really cute up here instead of like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the jewelry things and I'll be right back. I also am going to move the diffuser that was over my bedside over here because I don't know I think it just looks really cute and there's like a plug over here perfectly. I can plug it in. And so today I went out and I got this paper like power bouquet from Anthropology. I'm gonna take some of them out and put them in these little jars just to give it a little pizzazz. I got the flowers undone and I have some scissors so I can cut them to the right length to fit in these little jars. Okay, so I just finished this corner and I love the way it looks. I think it looks so much better just kind of flowing with this side. And I don't know, I just really like the flowers, like with the flowers on the wall. And I thought that this worked out perfectly. So over here on this wall, like right in between my desk area and then my dresser, I have these two little frames with my 21 Pilot records in it because I absolutely love 21 Pilot, but I kind of want something different and I feel like it needs a little bit more on the wall. So I'm gonna take these down and then kind of try to create a little cute, like aesthetic Pinteresty wall over here. Then I decided to take my other Toy and Pods poster down and put up my Mappafull poster that I had in my dorm and I absolutely love it.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take these little dots off the wall. I just don't love them anymore. I kind of want something different, so I'm gonna take them off. Hopefully it doesn't look bad and I'll have to put them back, but I'm thinking it will look good. That literally took like 20 years to do and my fingers hurt so bad from filling those off the wall. I don't recommend putting these on your wall because if you take them off, it takes forever. So my desk chair right here is literally ugly and it's falling apart, but it's the one that I have right now. So I'm gonna glam it up so it doesn't look quite as ugly. This is the blanket I had in my dorm room. It's gonna be my dorm room again this year, but I'm just gonna lay it like over the top of it so it kind of looks pretty. And then I have this pillow from Target that I'm gonna put in it just so it looks a little bit better. And I think that that kind of adds to the vibe. Then I decided to add a little photo wall right beside my desk and most of these photos are of Gizmo and if you guys wanted to know where I got these printed from, it's called Parabo Press. They are awesome. I highly recommend checking them out. They just look super cute on your wall. Then I decided to take this strand of wooden beads I got from Hobby Lobby and hang it up in between my stars. I just thought it looked cute and just added a little bit of extraness to my wall. Then I took my moonlight and moved it over on the wall between my closet and my dresser. Next, I took the little diffuser by my bedside and moved it over like I showed you before. And I decided to change my lamp out for this one I got from Ikea. And then I added this cute little plant. And then to help get rid of some clutter, I took this basket I got from Target and just put all my medicines and sprays and stuff in this basket. Then I took the lamp that was by my bed and I decided to put it over by my desk since I didn't have one. Then I decided to swap out this umbrella holder I had in the corner that had all my tripods and camera equipment in it for this basket I picked up at Ikea. And then I added another basket to the corner beside it. And that one is from TJ Maxx. And then I decided to add this cute little cacti wallflower to my wall. And above my bed, I have this hanging green ivory thing I made. And I decided to take it down and put up this yarn tapestry I just made the other day. I have a DIY tutorial of how I made this coming up on my channel soon. So just stay tuned if you want to see exactly how I made this. So I didn't want the vines above my bed to go to waste, so I decided to add them to this basket just to add a little bit of greenery. In my closets, I didn't have anything to put my clothes in, so I picked up these wooden crates from Target, and I think they look super cute, and they're really awesome for storage. And I had these extra vines in my dorm room, and I decided to hang them up above my closet just to add some extra greenery because I'm a huge sucker for plants. And the last thing I did to my room was I picked up these really cool color changing LED lights from Amazon. These are really awesome. They're basically like come in like a tape roll. So all you have to do is just tape them on whatever you want to add some color. So I decided to put these around my bed frame and I absolutely love how it looks. And these lights are amazing quality. I will definitely link them down below if you guys want to check them out. literally the perfect amount like the perfect length okay they turned on and it looks really cool guys this company i literally would hug every single one of them it came with a battery okay this is so cool oh my gosh this is the best thing i've ever bought i have like the coolest room now
So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me change up a few things in the room. I changed it a lot since what it used to look like, and I really like how it looks. I think it looks a lot more cleaner and more of my vibe. So I really like how it turned out. I'm glad that I did it so it could kind of like make me feel like it was my dorm room again. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you want to see your room tour, and I will for sure do one of those for you guys. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today's video. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah Can you tell me why, can you tell me why I'm down, yeah No friends of mine, no friends of mine